गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम श्वेता सरंगी एंड इन योर प्रीवियस सीजन आई हैव स्टडीड योर आई हैव डिस्क्राइब यू ऑल अबाउट सी बी आर दैट इज आवर कालीपन्या बियरिंग रेसियो टेस्ट सो इन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट बट वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर वी हैव टू फॉलो टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी बी आर ओके सो द लेबोरेटोरी सी बी आर एपरेटर्स consist of a mold 150 mm diameter with a base plate and a collar a loading frame and a dial gauges for measuring the penetration values and the expansion on soaking the specimen in the mold is soaked in water for 4 days and the swelling and water absorption values are noted the surcharge weight is placed on the top of the specimen in the mold and the assembly is placed under the plunger of the loading frame load is applied on the sample by a standard plunger with a dia of 50 mm at the rate of 1.25 mm per minute a load penetration curve is run the load values on standard crushed stones are 1370 kg and 2055 kg at 2.5 mm and 5.5 mm penetration respectively so severe value is expressed as a percentage of the actual load causing the penetration of 2.5 mm or 5 mm okay so how to find out the values the load standard spe- uh, load sustained by specimen by 2.5 and 5 mm penetration standard load values at 2.5 mm and 5 mm penetration will be 1370 kg and 2055 kg if if i'm going to find out the value of cvr at 2.5 mm penetration then the cvr 2.5 mm 2.5% equals to P1 by 1370 into 100. Okay. Then in the same way, if I am going to calculate the CVR value at 5 mm penetration, so CVR 5% equals to P2 divided by 2055 into 100. Or uh, generally, a 2.5 mm penetration, the CVR is found to be more. In this case, the value so found is accepted. accepted if at 5 mm penetration the cbr is higher is found the higher severe value of 5 mm penetration is accepted so this is the cbr testing machine here we are applying load and this is the standard plunger and this is the soil specimen okay so next this is the cbr is only for the soil mass okay now next is test on aggregate so there are various tests tests we have to conduct for aggregate because we have to we have to take the good or proper quality of aggregate for our construction of road so a present test this is hardness prop to find out the hardness property of aggregate to know the hardness property impact to know the toughness property aggregate crushing to know the strength of that aggregate soundness test that is how much durable it is and the last one is specific gravity and water absorption test okay so later on we are going to study this test briefly so first one is your abrasion test due to the movement of traffic the road stones used in the surfacing course are subjected to wearing action at the top resistance to wear or hardness is hence an essential property for road aggregates specially when used in wearing course thus road stones should be hard enough to resist the abrasion due to the traffic so this is the los angeles abrasion testing machine okay next what are the test procedure what i have to do take the clean and dried aggregate in an oven at 105 to 110 degree centigrade for this test we have to take always dry aggregate sieve the given aggregates in sieve size 20 mm to 12.5 mm and weight the aggregate in 2.5 kg again sieve the aggregate in sieve size 12.5 to 10 mm and take the aggregates in 2.5 kg that is w1 gram equals to 2.5 plus 2.5 equals to 5 kg for the given taking aggregates into the los angeles abrasion machine put the steel balls into the abrasion machine after pouring the aggregates start the machine and rotating the drum for 100 revolution 
and stop the machine after stopping the machine take out the aggregates and sieve the aggregates in 1.7 mm is sieve size and take the retained aggregates and note down its weight that is w2 gram okay here we are using the abrasive charge or balls okay, so the abrasive charge made up of cast iron along of dia 4.8 cm and weighing of 390 to 455 grams okay and the machine is rotated at a speed of 30 to 33 rpm rotation per minute about 500 to 1000 revolution then los angeles abrasion value how we will calculate w1 minus w2 divided by w1 into 100 percent so the los angeles abrasion values for a good aggregate should be less than 30 percent okay this is the test procedure for Los Angeles abrasion test. Next is impact test. So M here we are doing impact test to find out the toughness property. So toughness is the property of a material to resist impact. Due to traffic loads, the road stones are subjected to the pounding action or impact and there is possibility of stones breaking into smaller pieces. The road stones should therefore be tough enough to resist fracture under impact. It is de designed to evaluate the toughness of stones, that is the resistance of the stones to fracture under repeated impacts may be an impact test for road aggregate. The aggregate impact value indicates a relative measure of the resistance of an aggregate to a sudden shock or an impact, which in some aggregate differs from its resistance to a slow compressive load okay so this is the aggregate impact test machine this is the lifting handle this is hammer of weight 130 to 137 newton this is the diameter of the plunger that is 100 mm diameter vertical guide bar this is a vertical guide bar cup 102 mm dia and height 50 mm and this is a circular base okay so, what is the test procedure? Take clean and dry aggregate. As before I say that we have to take always dry aggregate for our testing of stone aggregates or for the construction of roads. Take clean and dry aggregate and sieve on IS 12.5 mm and 10 mm IS sieve. Collect the aggregate passing IS 12.5 mm sieve and retained on IS 10 mm sieve. Find the weight of empty cylindrical measure. Let the weight be a grams. Feel the aggregate in the cylindrical measure in three layers, tamping each layer 25 times with the rounded end of the tamping rod. Then roll the tamping rod over aggregate surface and remove excess aggregate if any. Then find the weight of the cylindrical measure with aggregate. Let the weight be B grams. Thus the weight of aggregate we will calculate by W1 equals to B minus A. From this formula, we can get the value of aggregate or the weight of aggregate. Then transfer all the aggregate from the cylindrical measure to the test cylinder in one layer and tamp the layer 25 times with the rounded end of the tamping rod. Same procedure we have to follow. Then fix the test cylinder formula to the base of the impact tester. Adjust the height of the plunger to 380 plus 5 mm and set the blow counter to 0. Lift the plunger gently and allow it to drop. This is one blow. Give 15 such blows. Take out the test cylinder and sieve the crushed material on IS 2.36 mm sieve. Find the weight of material passing the sieve. Let weight be W2 gram. Then find the weight of aggregate retained on the sieve and the weight be W3 grams. Then how will calculate the aggregate impact value? For calculating the aggregate impact value, you have to do W2 by W1 into 100 percent and what is the percentage of dust that is W3 divided by W1 into 100 percent. Okay. In the next class, we are going to study about the crushing strength test.